Jagex just dropped an unexpected news post covering a new golden item event and more, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you like my RuneScape content, be sure to subscribe. Let's get started. On May the 30th, a brand new golden item event is kicking off and this time it's a golden cape. The event is members only and will function similarly to the Golden Party Hat event back in 2021 where you collect shards by completing activities in RuneScape. And, as I'm sure many of you are happy to hear, the Golden Cape will also be a tradable item. To get the Golden Cape, you'll need to collect a total of 8 shards, of which you can earn 1 if you're a Premier Member, so someone who buys the yearly membership package, and 2, yes, 2 if you have a Jagex account linked to your RuneScape character. And yes, that counts for every single RuneScape character you've linked to your Jagex account, of which you can add a total of 20 per Jagex account. Jagex really seem to want you to be converting to the Jagex account, because that's worth double of what a Premier Club member is, or Premier member is. If you complete or have completed these Fort Firm requests, which don't take that long to do, although you do need to build part of the fort, you'll receive another Golden Shard. For those of you who have some GP to spare, you can buy one shard directly from Nick the Trader at the Grand Exchange front gate for 25 million gold or, and seriously, what is this, 10,000 protein items. Who in their right mind would trade in 10,000 proteins instead of 25 million gold other than someone with 200 mil in every single skill with nothing else to do? An MTX item sink is a new one for me. Am I the only one that finds this strange? Like, why is this an option? Anyways, other ways of getting golden shards include randomly obtaining it or getting experience in any skill category with you being able to collect four different shards from combat, artisan, gathering, and support skills. If you like puzzles or bossing, you aren't being left out either as completing clue scroll steps or killing bosses both have a random chance to reward you with a golden shard each. So basically, if you've done the new quests, you are a Premier Club member and you've linked your RuneScape character to the Jagex account system, you already have half the shards you need at 4 out of 8. Nice. Now if you're wondering how long it takes you to get a shard, I did the event, so the Golden Part Hat event, on a couple of alt accounts, and I believe, on average, it took me 5 hours to get a shard. So assuming you start out with 4 shards and you do a bunch of skilling, it will take you around 20 hours to obtain the Golden Cape, and you have until June the 26th to get it, so all you need to do is play 20 hours in a single month. And who knows, you might get lucky and get a shard in 2 hours or less. I've had it happen with the Golden Part at event, it's all RNG. Now once you get those 8 shards, you of course get the cape which has no stats and for that reason Jagex is also giving you 3 whole keepsake keys after completing the event as well. That's a very much welcome addition because you'll be able to keepsake your cape in addition to the golden party hat you might have had lying around in your bank. Now it doesn't stop at just the cape or keepsake keys as after completing the event you get 2 different buffs or 28 days as well. The first is the golden security buff which has has a 5% chance to reduce incoming damage by 99%, including type and typeless damage. This is very strong and Jagex knows that, so any boss timer, enrage, or high score will not register when the buff is enabled and activates at least once during a kill. And with a 5% chance, I think it's almost guaranteed to have this buff activate during a regular PVM kill, especially at bosses with a lot of health. The second buff is called Golden Consignment and provides a guaranteed porter effect which transports items you gather using gathering skills to the bank automatically or when picking up things during Slayer tasks. Damn boy, these are some nice, nice buffs. If you want to disable these buffs because you don't like the fact that you're not able to get a boss kill timer because you're effect prompt, you can do so at the wise old man who will be located in the Grand Exchange throughout the event. These two buffs will deplete 28 days after you've unlocked the golden cape regardless of if you disable the effect or not. And in other news, Jagex also seems to be increasing the AFK timer, something I and many other players have been asking for for a very long time. They do not mention how long the new AFK timer is going to be, but I think it's safe to assume it's at least getting doubled, but they do mention it being for Jagex accounts only, 
Yep, they really want people to convert in case it wasn't obvious already. And what's cool to see is that they're already working on it and have a planned release date, which is going to be in August again for Jagex accounts only. So uh, it might be time to convert your characters to a Jagex account. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this short news video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.